what's up goodies welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook with another requested recipe wanna ask all right now on a warm for shona how to make cow cut stew recipe in your kitchen fast easy and simple and here to deliver now if you are here watching me cooking this cow cut soup recipe for your very first time well go ahead and subscribe and then turn on the post notification settings why to be reminded Minded every time your girl upload a brand new video, make we jump right into it. Okay, goody, make we jump right into the recipe. And the first thing we're going to talk about is our cow card. Now, cow card is not recommended for children at all. A grown people think this. Read between the lines. Now, you want to make sure, however, when you are preparing it, you want to make sure that it's nice and clean. You want to make sure you can do that goody. Wash it with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. And sit, let it soak for a little bit, and then you're good to go. Now, this is how we're going to cut up the meat. We're going to cut it into nice pieces. Nice size pieces. You don't want to cut it too small and you definitely don't want to cut it too big. But cut it into the pieces that I, that you desire. Now, out of one strip of the cow card, I did get five pieces. Five or four pieces out of it. And that is perfect. And this will serve for a quite a lot of people. Okay, now that we have already cut our cow card and the pieces are perfect just the way I like it, now it's time to move on to well, the next step. Okay, goody, moving right along, we are going to season this thing up melon. This is my season of choice. Paprika, black pepper, salt, for sure, for sure, right? Now, onion and garlic powder, and I'm going to use my Ocho Reyes Combo Season. Why? Because I love it, and you could always substitute that out for whatever that you want to use. Make sure you have your fresh garlic to the mix and your grated ginger. And the ginger, I'm gonna turn up this thing mad loud. But I'll put some pimento seeds in it as well. And I think I use about 12 right there. And of course, you're going in with your tomato sauce. If you don't want to use tomato sauce like I'm using here, use tomato paste, but do not use tomato ketchup. Ketchup, now use the ketchup. Mm -mm. We are going in with the apple cider vinegar and the green season that I'm going to add to the cold cod is the one that I made at home. Now, if you want to see how I make this green seasoning, this particular green seasoning, just say green seasoning and I will make a future one. I'm going to wait till this one finish first because it's going to finish real quick. But I'm going to make a future one for you for show you how to do this particular green season. The thing turn up loud in a vegan food, beef, steak, chicken, oxtail, pork, anything we have cooked. The green season turn up loud. Now, this is my veggie of choice. I used a celery, carrots, skeleton thyme, and I did use my green papaya and it does taste good in soup and all that now i did go in with my chocha the papaya and the chocha have a similar taste pumpkin and all them other things there but all the ingredients will be listed down in the description box so make sure say check that out cut it up nice and small or in your desired pieces that you like okay but that was mine of course you need a cup of coconut cream to the mix i'm using fresh coconut and your pumpkin soup mix jamaican pumpkin soup mix that's what we are going to be adding to it they have different brands on the shelf and just grab yourself whatever you can find pumpkin soup mix someone said how comes we use pumpkin soup mix inside a um pumpkin seasoned rice and goody if you had looked at the back of your package when you buy a soup mix you would have seen it said pumpkin rice recipe on the back yes you can so before you come for me now make sure say so you have your facts right before you come for me 
because one of the best meanest pumpkin seasoned rice you can ever make in a kitchen when you add pumpkin soup mixed to it okay and you know just make the soup alone good eh? okay now this is how we are going to cut up our veggies of course you could always make them smaller or you can always make them bigger small medium or large but that was my choice right there moving right along we are now going to start seasoning and flavoring this cow cod so that way we could have one of the meanest stew in our kitchen but not overly seasoned we are going to depend on the veggies to give it all the flavor that we also need so we're adding basic seasoning to the mix you want to go in and add your fresh garlic You want to go in and add your grated ginger, or you could chop them up if you want, your choice. We're going in with our pimento seeds. And now I'm going to add my green seasoning, my home grade, oh, uh, yeah, home grade, right? Home made green seasoning to the mix. Now with clean hands, we are going to nicely combine everything together like i'm doing right here perfect perfect now i'm just going to simply let it sit for a few minutes a few minutes and let it marinate just want to let it marinate marinate for sure okay now if you can't do this from overnight too, you know just put it in the fridge and make it sit and when you're ready for cooking to take it out and make it sit 30 minutes before you start cooking it but me a 30 minutes girl 30 minutes later i'm ready to move on to the next step now in a pot i had it a tad bit of extra virgin olive oil a tad bit not too much then and only then i went in for my good up good up cow card that's been sitting there for 30 minutes and add it into the oil then I toss it around just for a little bit a little bit just so the flavor from the seasoning will go into the meat just like so it'll it create miracles right as so all right now immediately right immediately okay after i'm done spinning it just for like about 10 minutes you want to go in with hot boiling water only do not add cold water onto the cold card because honey is going to be hell to play in your kitchen it was going to take forever to cook okay so make sure you add hot boiling water only and i did had about six cups of hot boiling water cover it up and allow it to boil now after about an hour and a half of cooking right that is what we have you can see the water all mellow down and all the flavors are up in that cold cut right there so already but it wasn't as tender as i wanted it to be because it does take a while to cook you can also do it into your um pressure cooker just to make the process faster but we are going stove top today i did go back in and added about four cups of water hot water but remember again your cold card may cook faster than mine you just want to make sure that you allow it to cook until it is nice and tender so when you ask me how long it takes to cook yours are different from mine's yours might cook faster yours might take forever to cook but make sure at the end of the day it is cooked nice and tender so all i'm going to do here is just go ahead and cover it back up and allow it to cook now that my veggies are sitting there and it's ready and it's prepped and ready to go it's time to combine my cold cut stew right so when i went back in and checked it it was nice 
and it was tender and the texture was exactly how I wanted it. I decided I was going to keep that little good fat in that thing because we need it for the stew, right? So all we're going to do here is go ahead and add your veggies into the mix and go in and add all your bell peppers and onions and skillet and thyme and all that stuff. But I did, however, take the pepper out. I did take the pepper out because I do not want my pepper to pop. So we did take the pepper out. We'll put it back in later, but right now, pepper out. So now is when you're going to go in and add your tomato in. And I'm using my tomato sauce, and you can use your tomato paste if you like. One cup of the coconut cream, fresh. And you can substitute again for the can. Okay, now let's go in and just give it a good mix combination. And we are going to add our pumpkin soup mix into the mix. Add the pumpkin soup mix in the mix. Then you want to go in with about three tablespoons of unsalted butter and work it all up into that good good, right? Like so. Now we are definitely going in with our apple cider vinegar and I added about a teaspoon. To give it more flavor, I went in with my black pepper. Add some of that in there and then go in with my combo seasoning add that all up in there and that's all the spices that um, I needed for my stew and all the amount for the recipe and what I use for this stew will be listed down in the description so go ahead and check it out now while that day I go on with the thing I decided to cook well, I decided to start my splinters. So I have a half cup of cornmeal and a half cup of all-purpose flour. And I added a half teaspoon of salt to the mix and combined well. Then I went in with my icy cold water and dingled that thing all up in my flour and my cornmeal mix. Like so like so and you just want to take your time and add the water to it so that way you don't ruin the texture of the flour and cornmeal but that's all the little spinners that I needed I did not want to have too much because I'm not taking away from my stew just a little bit of spinners and we are a-okay and we are good to go that is what it's going to look like when you are all done now while that is simmering a little right because I'm not ready to add it to it yet what I did was get some um, plastic wrap and wrap it into the plastic wrap and then sit it down so that way it remains with this moisture. After about 30 minutes of simmering, right? 30 minutes right this saw. I decided it was time to go in, check it to see how far I'm there, and then we are going in and add our spinners to the mix. And I got to tell you, that thing was smelling. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. This is one of them stew recipe there. Them like an authentic stew recipe there where you just can't do it out. Especially if you have a man wanting to remain strong for you, you better make sure so you make him some cow cut stew. Now you want to go in and add your spinners to the mix. And like I said before, I didn't have a whole lot. I didn't put a whole lot, just enough. Just enough, just perfect, just enough. Like so. Now be sure that your fire is on medium heat right after you put your hot pepper into the mix. Do not mix up everything like too much because you don't want the dumplings, the spinners to go down in the bottom of your pot because when it starts to simmer, when it simmer all the way down, it is going to stick in the bottom of the pot. So you don't want that to happen. So just tease it a little bit and cover it up on medium heat. And after another like 20 minutes, it all simmered nice and everything combined together and come really good and gummy and yummy. And so the thing said right there. So you're going to have 
the best cocard stew jamaican authentic cocard stew in your kitchen fast easy and simple i did make a recipe with cocard before it's a soup recipe i'm going to list that down below but honey this is your stew look like your cocard stew is off the chain good for the obby yes honey you you better make this for him because he's gonna love you all over again talk to me nice goody talk to me nice and me for tell you now make sure you share the recipe that you know with your friends and your family and anybody who feel like you want to share it with share it on social media and anywhere else in between tell me what you like to have me cooking next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy